welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel what i have for you guys today is just this eye makeup look and just trying some other new products i did haul some products from ulta some makeup revolution palettes and if you follow me on my instagram i did pick up the new fenty powder and concealer so that is what you will be seeing today the application of that and this eye look so if you haven't already and you like watching makeup tutorials and colorful eyeshadow tutorials i invite you to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so without further ado let's just go ahead and jump into the video hey guys what's up i'm just getting ready to do the other eye i'm using this lip balm it's by emily corden it's so good you guys I was going to put it on my Instagram, but I haven't gotten around to it. But it's really, really luxurious looking. Smells great. This is the color Rose Imperial. It's super hydrating. I love it. I love it. Anyways, to start off, I am just going to prep the eyes with my P. Louise base. And I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Soap X Extra Spice Palette, which looks like this. I will be dipping into the other palette for a few other shades, but I did really want to use a lot of these shades. I don't usually do talk throughs because I talk a lot but I'm going to because some of you guys have asked. I am just gonna use this mirror and I'm using my P. Louise base in the color Rumor. I'm using a MAC 252. You don't have to have this brush. A big paddle brush or a big fluffy brush will work. I've just been wanting to use this palette. It's not anything super new, but it's super affordable. And I really do enjoy Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes. I just like to pat this on until it kind of just blends itself out. The first brush I'm going in with is my favorite. This is the Morphe M506. It's very small. I really, really like it. And I always just keep patting it if I see that it creases. So just because I say I pat it doesn't mean it's going to dry. I'm going to go in with the color Mold Wine. And I really like to get my brush nice and coated there. This palette doesn't have a lot of fallout. So I like to apply it. If you can't find your crease, you can always use your thumb and definitely feel for it. So for me, I know it's like right here. That's where I want to concentrate the deepest shade. So I'm just going to keep packing my brush and doing small circular motions to really map out that shape. This is again why I do my eyebrows last because I like a little bit more of an intense look so I really wanna blow it out as much as I can throughout my whole eyelid space. Right there, I'm pretty happy with the roundness of it and I'm gonna continue to add this color as icy fit I would say so the next color I'm going to dip into is 21 with a very similar brush and I'm going to lightly try to blend these edges out I'm not putting it above this color or right on top I'm going to go like right in between as you can see I'm using very small motions so the bigger you move your brush, the bigger you're going to blow out that color. And if you're not there yet, because I know I'm going to add a lot of colors here, I'm taking it easy because I could always go back and re-intensify that color if need be. When I'm doing my makeup, I kind of just put my brushes down as I use them so I know that was the darkest color and so forth. So now I'm going to go into Sweet and Sour. And even though it looks like I've just placed it there, I'm going to continue to add colors and blend it as I go. So now I'm going to take the color vitamin C, which is a very nice yellow, again on another very similar brush. <laughs> this color is really pigmented in yellow. So even though it's not looking the best yet, we're definitely going to keep working and building and packing those same colors and adding more 
but for example I know that yellow is going to be the lightest shade that I'm going to use so I'm going to bring that up as high pretty much to my eyebrow as you can see over here that's why I really like to use smaller brushes because I want a lot of colors to show and kind of have that gradient and I'd like to use the tip of the brush in my opinion if your brush is hitting like this that's too much force you literally just want the brush to do the work and to use the very tips of the brush now I'm gonna start to deepen out the look so I'm gonna take my same brush that I started with and I'm gonna go in with the color enchanted And I have my mirror right here so I'm at an angle kind of looking down because I hate doing this because I'm not trying to get any more wrinkles so I, I never do this so you'll see me do this or kind of just tilt my head back and even though right now it looks like Enchanted is basically taking over the previous color I'm gonna go back with that color now I have like purple and then going into orange so I'm gonna add the color 21 which is like a red and if you're using just the tips of the brush you won't place too much color and see how I I'm like barely moving it just literally side to side I end up going all the way up here that's definitely optional but I would definitely suggest just trying to keep your eyes open to see where you really want all that darkness to show like right here honestly I think I could have packed a little bit more of the darker shade in the crease so you could have seen it more but for now it's fine like I want a little bit more red here and I'm gonna go into the color brownies this is just a Sigma E55 I love this brush for many things packing color all over the lid or placing color in the crease I'm gonna go back in with Enchanted now and mold wine and blend out that dark brown. And now for the deepest shade, I will go in with probably the smallest brush I have. This is a Morphe M149 and I'm gonna go into the color Reputation that basically looks like a black. Now I'm just gonna place it. I'm literally tapping it on right in the crease now if you feel like it's looking choppy there we can definitely go back in with those purple shades and blend the edges out of that so it's always gonna be one color blending out another so here I'm just trying to blend out that dark brown with the previous purple shades and I just always do this and honestly when you practice that's the only way you're going to see how you want it to look. Here I went ahead and cleaned up the crease and packed on these two shimmer shades which are super super pretty. You do not need any fix plus. I did just apply them dry. Then I go back in with the light shade and just try to tap right over that line. For gel liner, I'm going to go in with my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner. So that is what it's looking like. I'm just going to add lashes and move on to the face. For the face, I like to start off with a spray. Even though I already had moisturizer on, I still like to do this step. And I am using the Fenty Primer. I'm using one of the Sigma skincare brushes. I just like to use it to apply it. I am going in with the... Fenty Beauty Foundation and this Sigma F80 Air. I was actually just testing it out for the first time. I didn't own this brush previously, so I really like it. It's nice and dense, but very soft. So as you can see, I'm basically pushing in that product. And if you have dry skin or you just want a little bit more ease I guess when blending your foundation, that's why I use the spray. Sometimes I'll spray my face and the brush prior to pushing that product onto the skin but the Fenty foundation is nothing new for me I do really like it I do use the color 270 and I don't know I just really liked how that brush worked out for the concealer I am using the color 210 it is very creamy the Fenty concealer comes in 50 different shades I was a little bit overwhelmed when I was swatching them but as soon as I swatched a color that I liked I went with it as you can see here I'm just 
seeing how much I could apply with just taking it out of the applicator or out of the product, you know, and then here I am just basically blending that in. I did find it a little bit, not drying, but I did have to blend it in kind of quickly. So for the powder, I did pick up the color Banana, which it doesn't say it's for my foundation shade, but that's the color that I liked. So I'm picking it up just using my Real Techniques brush. It does have a really nice kind of yellowy banana color, and I just applied it right underneath the eyes like I would any other powder. At the end of the day, I did find a little creasing, so I wouldn't say it's 100% creaseless at least not for me. For the face, I did just go in with my Sigma Contour Palette just because I've really been enjoying it and you guys have been seeing it on my previous videos. This is just an angled brush that I have been using also. And this is just kind of how I like to bronze up the skin so I don't really set my whole face. For blush, I did go in with the blush palette and I like this a lot. This is just one of my old Sigma blush duo fiber brushes and I've lately been into kind of pinky blush shades so I really really liked this color. Then for highlight I had picked up the Pixie by Petra and I'm using this brush and I'm not a big fan of really big brushes. This did the job for sure. It's really nice and super soft but I still think I prefer a smaller brush but this is probably one of the softest brushes that I have. For lips, I did just go in with one of my Maybelline liquid lipsticks because it's one of my favorites. I am using a Peaches and Cream lip gloss and these are a little bit on the sticky side. That's why I grabbed my lip brush, the only one I own. And that's basically it. Here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this talk through voiceover type of video and using these Soph X palettes. I really do like them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.